Ya bemo wibi ya kwa abade aba smart gana update so. We yi e news update fufro kra ne de babe sumo. Abusia ene Dr. Muhammad Boumia as promise. UPSC nani nina ane se. Juma diye ebe koso o honu mwa ates o dini vishin ebe abe tuja. Ne abusia oko piye mo honu ne nyasem ketua kra ates se. MPP supporters ene diplomat ne mpeniform penifo media men ubi biya eko piye mo ho. Ne abusia the most interesting thing ni se wasansu echi achi ya. Contestant ha, ono omu e jinae, November 4th, ninyi na, ewa auditorium ho, ha, ninyi ane se, to show togetherness. Nenu, ena amamfo ni ubuza se, inti, kenende ya kompre kwa Japon, no ti wubi ya na, ebusi ya, ude wa afewe nini hui video no, medie me hundie, but omu chile ma, ea de se, wa exchange pleasantries with all the contestants na, ono omu jinae, ewa November 4th, no, ebusi ya, mepesi ya kwa kwe. Dia tosu miye nu, ea de se, President Kufo, enzo so, e di bibi kakra tuja, ah, te so, peso uche mi se, yes, Sama yi, u ni mnu wabra, President Nanado dan kwa kufwado, omu kofa ane ba iso omeye ni running mate. Onu wani ni din kwa mwong kakra akra, efe se ni wote nke fano. Uwe hu se, mani, e yi ni pebiya, o ye good pa. No so, o strong conviction se, Dr. Muhammad Ubaumia, e adye se, ube timi, aba, aba abe buwa gana fo, se gana fo, e tu aba, e demana. Inti wano diye, o ni muji diye pa. Inti wabas se se, amam fo wano, omon she, no mon support wano, no inti mi mra meye president of Ghana. Ni ya toso miye nsa, a e chat wo, enso si ye, Steven in team. Ono zo zo, e de kakra ka hon, a wano so peso wa chire se, Dr. Muhammad Ubaumia, e adye se, o ni muji diye pa, se, ya tu aba ama no, ono so be timi e deliver. Ni ya mum, ni ya wo se, si si ya ane se, e kamiya kwa ya se, e kro biya e wo hono mum, after elections miyo ni ya wama kumbiya, obe se se ama mfo wano, en kamum. O se se, ubiya emra on board, no ubiya emyuni, together, no omu nti minfa MPP, emra power. Kos, eno wo hono mu diya, ebe ya dini, omu nti minfi ili, so omu beka se saade no, omu nye. Inti, omu emba kono se, ubiya ebe buwa, no waba on board, no waka boom, se ni ebe ya, omu biti midi, Dr. Muhammad Ubaumia, aba power. Ebusi ya, mepe se ebe kwa, ni wakwa kuhu video, wa bra, Dr. And Dr. Baumia is making his way through a crowd followed immediately by his wife uh, Mrs. Samira Baumia and he's exchanging pleasantries with colleagues who he contested the presidential candidature with isn't this beautiful a party united a party bold and strong Give us a wave of your Ghana flag wherever you are. Your Excellency. Our beautiful First Lady, Mrs. Rebecca Kufuado, Your Excellency, the Vice President, the man of the moment, Mahmoud Baumia, and our Second Lady, Party Elders, Party Members. Somehow Kufuado picked the same young man to be his running mate. Till then, Baumia was not even in the main stream of party. He was a party man, all right, but behind the scenes. So we picked him, and uh, of course there were, there were some surprises. People expressed misgivings. I thought of it, and then at a party meeting in the Aliza Hotel, I remembered my first meeting of, with this young man in London, the, and what I told him. Then it dawned on me again to more or less prophesy. I appealed to the party just to accept this man to carry on, man of destiny. To find our way 
are out of the confusion our society and economy have been plunged into. I wouldn't blame any side. Look at the track records of all the parties. I tell you, you can't find one that can say that in their time they were excellent or superb. No. We are in a new situation, and I believe the saying that come with the, the man is now. Has come for this man. And I like the theme that I posted against the wall. Look at behind the lectern there. Bold solutions for the future. Without the preparations I've talked about, understanding the new technologies and knowing and really committed to your nation to secure a decent and dignified niche in the global context for that is geopolitics without them I tell you we will continue to wallow so I'm witnessing that I, it seems, look at the field of the arena of presidency now, it seems this man, destiny for this time, Ghana. I'm appealing to the whole nation to give him the chance to come. I have a feeling, I have a very strong feeling moment and Ghana must accept him. So this is it. Thank you very much. A big applause for Excellency the former president John Ajekum Kufuor. And that's a handshake of blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, the depreciation of the city under our government is lower than that we inherited from the 2013 to 2016 period. Let me talk about jobs. What is probably the most remarkable development in terms of the economy is that our government has created 2.1 million jobs between 2017 and 2022, notwithstanding the global economic crisis. The public sector recruited 1.2 million people, while the private sector uh, created 975,000 jobs, according to SNIT data. We recruited 100,000 more, more health workers, 100,000 more teachers, we more than doubled the fire service personnel, and so on. Our government clearly has created more jobs in the last seven years than any other government in the Fourth Republic. This is truly remarkable under the circumstances, even though we still have to create more jobs. Ladies and gentlemen, clearly, notwithstanding the economic crisis, this government has been able to steer the ship of the nation away from catastrophe. <coughs> in the face, in the face of the crisis, overall performance of the economy in areas such as GDP growth, agricultural growth, industrial growth, trade balance, gross international reserves, and job creation has demonstrated resilience. Ladies and gentlemen, avail available data also shows that notwithstanding the challenging economy we inherited and the global economic crisis that ensued, government has chalked a large number of achievements across the country. Due to the constraints of time, I will only be able to enumerate a few of these achievements. However, government will soon outdoor our performance tracker in the next few weeks, which will detail all of our achievements in every sector and every district in the Republic of Ghana. But I will name a 
just a few of their achievements. We have undertaken a major road construction and rehabilitation program across the country, over 11,674 kilometers of roads according to data from the Ministry of Roads and Highways. I am not aware of any government that has done as much in the road sector since 1992. We have initiated and overseeing the construction and rehabilitation of more railways than any other government since 1992. Achimota in Sawam, Accra Tema, Kojokrom Takwa, Kojokrom Manso, and Tema Mpakada. We have extended the rural telephony network to more areas than any other government since 1992. We have increased the network from 78 sites to 1,008 sites. We have constructed more fish landing sites than any other government. Exim, Dixcov, Moree, Mumford, Teshi, Keta, Osu, Ekumfi, and Mfansiman. Ladies and gentlemen, our government has constructed more sports facilities than any other government since 1992. We have completed six new multi-purpose sports stadia and four ongoing in each of the ten regions, um, all ten old regions. We completed the University of Ghana Stadium in Legon, built... infrastructure and implemented more development policies in the Zongo communities than any other government since 92. The Zongo Development Fund has completed over 200 infrastructure projects in Zongo communities. I want to express my sincere appreciation to the party's rank and file for their discipline and hard work in organizing the widely acclaimed, peaceful, and transparent presidential and parliamentary primaries. I commend your efforts, and I expect all parliamentary candidates and party executives to take immediate action by reaching out to all unsuccessful aspirants and form and formidable consistency campaign teams to guarantee our party retains its majority in the 10th parliament. Failure to do so is not an option. It is time to put aside all differences and come together. Let us bridge every gap, heal every wound, and work together with a renewed passion for victory.